Hello and welcome everybody to this video. This video is going to show you how to use PayPal Standard and PayPal Express into your website. So basically PayPal Standard is the basic PayPal that you could add in order to activate it and receive pay payments from your customers. But PayPal Standard is personal, so it's not used by companies, it's used by normal people. In order to add PayPal Standard, you just need to insert the email address associated with you via PayPal. So you could just type the email address over here and receive our email. And then you just kind of click on save changes in order to apply the changes that you have and add payment gateway option to your store. So here, for example, we got, if we go to the shop and just try to order another item like this one, I need to order it. Let's go check out. Once I go to the checkout, I got the new option, PayPal payment. So I could choose that and proceed to PayPal in order to pay for this order. So you can see it's up and running. This is one of the options, but most of the people don't use uh, PayPal, the standard they use, another payment options that could issue refunds and other stuff. So basically you could use the other PayPal option so just type for a uh, search for pay pal using your uh, search plugins tab and you have different options we have uh, paypal uh, wordpress paypal we have uh, paypal events we have um, paypal shopping cart let's choose paypal woo WooCommerce. We need something for PayPal and WooCommerce at the same time. So we have this WooCommerce PayPal checkout payment gateway, but the rating of it is not that good. We have PayPal Plus for WooCommerce. The rating is a little bit good. Um, we have WooCommerce PayPal gateway. You click on it. You can see this is a good plugin used by over 2,000 store. You have payment, PayPal manager, PayPal Express checkout, credit. So you could choose between these methods. It's up for you. Okay, so um, we got this one and also we got this one. Let me check description the, the let's update is about three months and this one is about two days so I'd recommend to use the most up-to-date version so we're gonna use this one you click on the install and uh, from here you click on activate and after that we could configure it so in order to configure it, we go to WooCommerce, Settings, and Payments. And from Payments, we go to the PayPal options. So here, since I'm not going to use the standard one, I'm, I'm going to go and use the Express one. So here we have uh, the PayPal Pro can activate this and we have also the PayPal checkout payment buttons I'm gonna use this so in order to use this you have to use the developers overview so you have to log into the dashboard using your account so make sure you're using the latest password. Let me just check the password. All right, we need to go to create an app. So the app is just gonna be the website name that we have. You need to create an app 
and this is the app name. You create the app and you just copy the secret code. You just copy the sandbox account and the client ID from here. You need to go to the settings setup. We just configure this. You got all these options. That's good, but I need to configure it. So I have to get click back and go PayPal Pro set up it. Here we have to type the the sandbox API username, which is going to be over here again and the ID gonna be over here and we have to type a se the, the secret so you need to copy all these and just save the settings for the username and password, you can get get them from the sandbox. You go sandbox accounts, and you have here something called um, email ID, generated password, and you have ABI credentials. You click in the ABI credentials, get the data from there, and after that, you could use these settings inside WooCommerce payment settings here. All right, after you just add the changes, you have something called PayPal checkout. You just add these options, smart buttons to your site. You need to activate this, save it. And you can see once I saved it, it's not working. I have to click here to see why. Click enable it save it's enabled so i could go to this cart for example just go cart add an item uh, let's go proceed to check out we have here this is the item it's not running let me check enable yeah we have to type the client ID and the client secret in order to let this work. So you go to my apps, you just click uh, copy the client ID and the client secret in order to activate it. After that, you just click save and go to the page. For example, the product page. You can see we got the PayPal options inside the product. Also, once I go to the cart, I can see the PayPal options. And once I go to the checkout page as well, I can see the PayPal Express option as well. So you could click on the PayPal and just use it in order to pay with your PayPal account. You have to approve the conditions, click on the PayPal, and you could test this out. You have to use your test accounts and you could get them from the test um, you know from the test accounts provided using the PayPal accounts in order to test payment with this. So if I went back to the PayPal and uh, just went to the accounts and check the personal and the business one check the username and password get them from there and just come here for testing click on the paypal button just going to use the sandbox account just enter the username and password so i've just entered the username and password tim username and password just log in here we are 
so I'm just gonna test store get nine dollars nine dollars payment click continue and we just created an order and I can just click continue and here we go we just finished that order as you can see using PayPal awesome so you could test your details if you go like Kignetu mode you just type PayPal sandbox PayPal you just type sandbox PayPal um, you just go there to sandbox account or my account log into dashboard you need to type your phone number um what is that sandbox let me just search for it developer paypal or send send box paypal just search for this sandbox login Here we go, PayPal sandbox. This one, you go log in, just type your email and password. I'm gonna type my business, the test email for business. So, here we type it for the link, it's sandbox.paypal.com, not the developer one. I tried to Google it, but it's not showing. So, I have to type my business email. Over here for sandbox to paypal.com and the password provided by API or PayPal, PayPal accounts uh, console. We just type the password over there. Try to log in, see the latest payment if received or not. So this is just a Timb account, test account. I'm not gonna take the tour. The tour here we got money in. We got the latest payment you can see it's for 99 dollars so it's up and running everything is working just fine all right i could come to the paypal and just make the product markers shipped and just submit the order or the product if there's a any tracking code also i can provide it via paypal this is really awesome so this is for testing purposes how you could add PayPal into your account. So in the next step, you have to just make PayPal active by not using the Tisney account, just use a normal live account, not just Tisney account. So just replace the, the IDs, the passwords with live values and just save and you are up and running with PayPal payments how you could do that just go my apps just click on live button over here you can see you have to confirm your paypal email address by clicking here and just click on the confirm email button in order to receive the email and activate it you can see here we get the email just need to activate the link so you have to come to this page enable paypal sandbox just turn it off and type live id key and live secret key and click on save perfect we just back to the payments again we go all the way to the other options for the paypal pro we do the same thing we just turn off the sandbox test and replace these values with the live API username and live API password and signature. All right, sounds good. In case you're no, not gonna use PayPal Pro, you can turn it off and just use the standard PayPal checkout fields that we've added inside the paper, the payments. So just, we're gonna use the PayPal checkout. 
yeah this is pretty much how you could uh, proceed forward with adding the two of the famous payment gateways like uh, credit card and uh, PayPal in this video I'm gonna show you how we could process the orders how to work with orders and make invoices and other stuff like back and slips invoices process the order contacting with the client and all the other details so we're gonna show you all that in the next video guys thank you for watching